We surround them. We surround them. Look how many of us there are now. And I've got good news for, uh, for you to hear, and it feels good to be able to report this stuff to you tonight. Here it is. You are winning. No one with any kind of power will tell you that. Because the rise of the people means the demise of power. And that's why when a movement began, people were standing up and those in power first ignored it, as Gandhi said they would. They hoped that it would fade quietly away into the night. They hoped that there just weren't enough people willing to stand. They hoped that people would give up, unplug, go back to their lives. And when that didn't happen, they hoped that they could infiltrate, consume, trick us, coax us back into the system. They were wrong. We're not going anywhere, and we're not dummies. Hundreds of protests, hundreds of thousands of patriots, millions, exactly, demanding to be heard, standing peacefully yet powerfully, relying on principles, not people or parties, calling for the return to the founding ideals that made America great. This is a force to be reckoned with, and this made the establishment tremble with fear, fear of losing their precious little power. Oh, they responded with condescending mockery at first. Once respected journalists were reduced themselves to being on TV, making teabagging sex jokes on the air. Then they tried conjuring up tales of Tea Party violence, manufacturing tears as if they had seen future Tea Party crimes. The movement that they tried to dismiss just weeks earlier suddenly was a very powerful danger and threat to America's safety and security. And then they said, well, it's just a bunch of old people. Then they said, well, it's just a tool for the Republican Party. Then they played the race card. The, the accusations went on from there, and I, I've lost track. I don't really care anymore. Because none of them are true. None of them stick. Here is what's true. We're organized. We're motivated. We're not going to stop. And we are winning. They're scared. They are so scared. I want to show you what's happening in Washington. The 27-term congressmen, the, the establishment Republicans, the, corru the uh, corrupt, the, uh, the progressive, the weasels, the liars, the globalists, you name it, right now. When they see images like this, or like this, or even like this, well, let me show you what happens. Um, let's just say... Just say, we just run into the street, a politician who happens to be here on the weekend. And you're like, hey, Mr. Politician, let me tell you about the Tea Party and let me show you what happened. This is exactly what happens to them. They, uh, uh oh, they begin to wet their pants just a little bit and uh, things get kind of ugly from there. You see, we put them on notice. We're done with the games, we're done with the lies, and we're not stopping until every one last, last one of them is sent packing. And they're wetting their pants, man. Ted Cruz won easily last night against the establishment candidate, Dewhurst. And let me tell you, every establishment person here in Texas said it couldn't be done. Every one of them. And they're wetting their pants. Here's my favorite part about the news coverage. They've labeled victory shocking, stunning, surprising, and upset. I didn't think it was any of those things, did you? I mean, I completely expected it. I know we, the people, are now in charge. The media is just in denial. And let me be clear on this. This is not about Ted Cruz. Honestly, all I know about Ted Cruz is um, he's a better politician than Dewhurst. And when I say he's a politician, I, my apology to, to Ted Cruz. But he is a politician. He is going to be sent to Washington now. And if Cruz ends up being something different than promised, guess what? We'll make Ted Cruz wet the floor as well. We'll come after him, and he'll be the one with wet pants. I mean, it's really not about the personality. It's about the principles. It's not about Republicans. It's about conservative, small government values that are winning. And when they win, once again in November, the media won't know what hit them. They'll be left scratching their heads again, cluelessly speculating, well, I, 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 uh, I mean, uh, racism. What else could it be? We're tired of the entrenched power. That's what it is. I mean, really, nobody had a problem with the Kennedys until 
every single Kennedy ran. And, 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 the, and the Bushes, the same thing, and the Clintons. Look, we're not England. These are all good people, whatever. But we're not into the royal family thing. We want men and women of character and their own merit. You know, we, we want to raise up the next generation of George Washingtons, but George Washington was the only one in his family that was president. The GOP was actually considering running Jeb Bush. Enough is enough. Really, enough is enough. I mean, there were only, there were only two Adams that were president. That was it, and that was enough. We're sick of it. The DHS says they are expecting this anger to spill over into civil unrest at the Democratic and Republican conventions this summer. Well, really? Actually, they're not telling you the truth. It's worse than that. Much worse than that. Our documentary crew is doing research on a project. Our senior producer spoke to a source who agreed to talk with us because he wants people to know what's happening inside of our own government. You'll see this documentary this uh, August. But let me tell you something. It's frightening. He told the producer about a recent meeting in which a DHS official presented their plans for dealing with unrest at the conventions. The CIA agent said, we're not facing unrest, we're facing revolution. Quote, I should know. I started a few. This violence will not come from the small limited government side. It will come from the anarchists and the communists, the uber extremes, especially the extreme left, because it almost always comes from the left. They become especially dangerous when they're losing a grip on tightly held power. And that is exactly what's happening. We've been preparing for this moment. And so we will, we will uh, respond, not like this, but with love. And we have. Let me show you the latest update. The food trucks first arrived in Arlington. Then yesterday they arrived in Brooklyn, New York. And then the Navajo um, Indian Reservation in New Mexico. The day of service and restoring love event stunned the media. They didn't know what to do. They didn't know what to do. When this, when this arrived at the Navajo Reservation, um, the people who were there said they've never seen anything like it. It's never been done before. Stand in line on those never-been-done-before things, man. Because that's all it seems we seem to be doing. Things that have never been done before. They don't know who you really are. And come November, once again, they're going to be shocked, surprised, stunned at the upset of Barack Obama. But it's not going to be a stunning surprise. It's, it's clear as day that you are winning. Think of this. Just 1,282 days you have gone from nothing to this. Six million Americans have attended Tea Party rallies. Six million. Three. Three-term Senator, uh, three -term senator uh, Bob Bennett lost to two other Republicans at the GOP nominating convention in Salt Lake City. Then Mike Lee eventually wins the seat lost by Bennett. Richard Murdoch wins the Indiana GOP primary easily against the establishment candidate Dick Luger, who's been there forever. Rand Paul beats the GOP establishment candidate. Marco Rubio beats the establishment candidate Charlie Crist. Pat Toomey beats Arlen Specter. Joe Miller beats the GOP establishment in uh, Alaska. Sharon Engel wins the primary over the establishment candidate. Christine O'Donnell wins the primary over nine-term establishment uh, candidate Mike Castle. In New York, Palladino beats the GOP establishment in their primary. Governor Walker survived a battle against the full force of the labor unions in Wisconsin. Deb Fisher wins the primary in Nebraska over the establishment candidate. And Ted Cruz won easily last night against the establishment candidate. You know what I love about this is that several of the candidates went on to lose their general election, like Christine O'Donnell. And the establishment will say, see, we told you, they'd lose. They're all extremists. Yeah, yeah, are they really? Look, we may have lost the election in some cases, but I'd rather lose a battle than sell out my va values and then lose the war. You see, it's not just elections that we're talking about. And it's not just elections where you're winning. Agenda 21 on the local level in the past 18 months alone, think of this, 138 cities and counties have now made laws that ban Agenda 21 in their area. That's enormous. 
That number is expected to grow by at least 19 more in the very near future. Obama's massively powerful EPA was dealt a blow yesterday when the National Mining Association successfully sued them. U.S. District Judge said that the EPA exceeded its authority by issuing final guidance in 2011 that required states to cede their power over to the EPA when issuing certain permits. The media, they're dumbfounded. They're dizzy. They don't even know. They're losing ratings and viewers by an incredible rate. CNN is down another 20%. CNN down another 20%. They already had less viewers than we have subscribers on an internet broadcast. Why is it happening? Because they don't understand what's happening in the real world. They're reporting from their ivory tower with no clue as to what's happening way down in the streets below. And those streets below in New York, that's not America, man. It's in America, but that's not it. Neither is Los Angeles, neither is Chicago. You are turning this country around. You are rendering the government's help unnecessary. That's what it's all about. You're doing what Congress and the media can never do. You're uniting people. You are saving America. Now, they can't see it yet. Even though tens of thousands made it incredibly obvious at Dallas Stadium over the weekend, but they will see it because you are winning. In fact, I believe you've already won. All that's left now is to finish the game.